Well, to open this collection of classic Roots Group vehicles, we've got a Hillman Minx Foursome Drophead Coupe from 1938. And here, much later, Hilma Minx of the mid 1960s. And on a very sunny day, a rear three quarter view of a Sunbeam Rapier from 1964. Here's a rarity from 1948. This is a Hilma Minx Mark II. This particular version was only produced for about one year. LAS 855, that's a Humber Super Snipe Estate from 1960. One of several cars like that to feature in this collection of photographs. And that's followed by a Humber Scepter. The mighty Comma Q4, militarised version of the Comma Super Poise lorry of the 1950s. Here we've got a Sunbeam Tiger, the V8 version of the Sunbeam Alpine. A number of these will feature in this collection of Roots Group car photographs. And this is a Hillman Imp from 1966. BTC 383J, that's a Sunbeam Vogue, circa 1970. And there's a rear view of the same car. Some are badged as Singer Vogues, others are Sunbeam Vogues. GSL 239, this is a Sunbeam Talbot 90 from 1953. There's a Singer Gazelle, a latish example from 1966, the Audax version of the Gazelle. KPG 516, it's back to 1946. With this Sunbeam Talbot Tora 10 horsepower car. There's a Hillman Super Minx on non original wheels. A side view of a cracking comma of the late 1940s, early 1950s. A very famous comma indeed, the ex Icuria Cos. Comma Racing Car Transporter with a Jaguar C-Type on the roof. That was at the Goodwood Revival. Here's another Sunbeam or Singer Vogue. UHS 686G, that's a 1969 Singer Chamois Coupe. Another classic British car of the 1960s. Now the Singer Company was absorbed into the Roots Group in 1956 and this Singer Roadster dates to just before then, about 1954 or 55. We've got a late 1960s 1725cc Sunbeam Rapier Coupe, the side windows wound down. And a brace of Sunbeam Tigers enjoying the sun. Four four three zero RU. Here's a rarity, it's a Hillman Super Minx convertible on wire wheels. Here's a review of a, an early Sunbeam Alpine, the big fins, KSY117. And a head-on view of GVV33, which is a late 1950s Humber Hawk. This was at the NEC Classic Car Show a couple of years back. There's 524XUR. Which is 1954 Sunbeam Talbot 90 Drophead Coupe. Another mighty old comma, circa 1970. Back to classic cars and a 1964 Singer Vogue. LHK 371, that's a Humber Hawk from 1946. Very much a pre-war design of car that was reintroduced after the war. The EYU897J, that's a 1971 Sunbeam Imp Sport. One of many different derivatives based on the Hillman Imp. And there's a side view of a Sunbeam Talbot 90 with its rear wheel spats in place. There's a Singer Gazelle down at the Haynes Motor Museum. Obviously based on the Hilma Minx of the same era. There's a Humber Super Snipe 102 WTJ. This car dates from 1961. 
There's a brace of super minxes. One called Bert, and the other Hilda. So some being tall at 90, again down at the Haynes Classic Car Museum. ATB363J, that's a 1970 Singer Chamois Coupe. RVO229, that's a Hilma Minx from 1954. Here's a similar car as viewed from the rear. This was at a Welsh Motor Museum. Back to earlier cars now, a DCO 771, that's a 1946 Sunbeam Talbot 10 horsepower saloon. That's a Hillman Imp Californian. Fastback coupe version of the Imp. OSK 796, that's another Sunbeam Talbot 90. And there's my old comma from 1950. Jaw 182E, that's a Humber Super Snipe from 1967 with the square rear window profile of that era of car. We've got a fastback Sunbeam Rapier of 1974 at the Haynes Museum. There's a classic Humber Hawk of the mid 1950s, ECC 440, Welsh registered car. That is a comma Q25 laundry van. Sticking with Roots Group cars, of course. There's another Humber Super Snipe, or rather a Hawk, I'm sorry, of the 1960s. There's a Singer Vogue version of the Arrow Line series of cars of the very late 1960s. HBO 952, there's a Humber Pullman limousine. A very smart Singer Vogue estate. More classic roots group now, and a pair of Sunbeam Alpines showing the different tail light arrangements of the early and the late cars compared. XYV819, that's a 1959 Humber Super Snipe. Back to the pre war years, 1935, and the Humber 1660, a magnificent saloon. The Humber Company was absorbed into Roots Group in 1929. There's a rear view of a 1966 Sunbeam Tiger. Back to the Haynes Motor Museum, and this is a Humber Scepter, the Arrow Series car. Lovely old diesel powered comma lorry. Comma and carrier with a commercial vehicle arms of the Roots Group. There's a rear three quarter view of another Humber Super Snipe, this is a 1966 car. Continuing with Roots Group, we have got another Humber, this time a 1964 Super Snipe with the curved wraparound rear window, as opposed to the squared off window of the later cars. NCC 160, there's another Humber Scepter, Welsh registered. Another rarity, a four seat Hillman Minx convertible, seen quite a few years ago in North Wales at a classic car meeting. And this is the estate car version of the Minx, the Hillman Husky. Very similar body to the Comma Cobb van. There's a Sunbeam Rapier. The fine old Comma Lorry dropside truck. And JW677E, there's a Singer Chamois Saloon. There's a Hilma Minx, the Arrow Series car, with a Ford Granada alongside. A rear three quarter view of a Humber Hawk estate showing the curved rear side windows that it shared with other cars such as a Vauxhall Victor F Type. There's a Singer Gazelle, enjoying the sun. A 
was a close in look at a Sunbeam Talbot 10. Probably a just post war example. There's a Hillman Imp circa 1970. A Super Minx convertible, four seat convertible, rare survivor. That car dates to 1964. The rear view of the Singer Vogue Estate with its split rear tailgate arrangement, a very practical, light and airy car. There's the old two stroke diesel Comma Lorry, this one from 1966, bodied as a horse box. Hut 436, that's another Sunbeam Talbot 90, seen quite a few years ago at a classic car gathering at Western Park. And we've got JDU 46E, that's a 1967 Hillman Imp, ex-works rally car no less. There's a Sunbeam Tiger, complete with a tiger tail hanging off its fuel filler cap. Another wonderful old comma lorry, again 1950s. And something of a restoration project, the Hillman Minx Californian of the mid 1950s, based on the contemporary Minx, of course. And this is a Sunbeam Talbot 3 litre saloon of the late 1930s, about 1938 to 1939. There's a 67, 68 Sunbeam Alpine arriving at Alton Park many years ago. I love the old carrier lorry from about 1970, as used by the Northwestern Gas Board, no less. The Sunbeam Talbot Alpine down at the NEC Classic Car Show a couple of years ago on the club stand. FXP572, that's a 1939 Humber Super Snipe. Magnificent looking car. 749 YUF, there's a 1950 comma pickup truck, a petrol powered version. While well, here we have a Singer Vogue Saloon from 1965, as seen in a motor museum not long ago. There's my old Talbot 3 litre from late in 1937. There's a Hillman Husky Estate, 203WKR. And here is a, I think, unique Comma Crew Bus, as used by the RAF, XAT368. That's followed by a Hillman Minx Estate. The carrier, this time a circa 1970 example from Blano Festiniog, Coal Merchants and Hauliers. There's a Hillman Super Minx from 1965, C registration, called Fred, it would seem. There's a fantastic car, VSY 512, this is 1957, Humber Hawk Estate. A stunning, stunning car. And there's a later Minx Estate. The next World War II Humber staff car is next in this collection of classic Roots Group vehicles. And there's a Humber Scepter from 1966. Over the years various companies were absorbed into the Roots Group including Hillman, Humber, Comma, Carrier, Sunbeam, Talbot and Singer. Talking of Singer, here's a pair of Rapiers, sorry, Singer Gazelles. An early example on the left, a later example on the right. And this is a Comma Imp 500 weight van from 1966. FDY 281, that's a 1952 Humber Super Snipe Mark III, powered by the big old 4 litre straight six side valve engine, while JVS 326, that's a 1960 Hillman Minx. The Comma Q4 RYX17 military vehicle. There's an all black Hillman Minx, circa 1959 1960 ish. 
There's a Humber Scepter spotted in a Portuguese lean-to several years ago. Another Goodwood Revival, we've got a Hillman Supermix Convertible from 1964, B registration. An XM680, that's a 1963 Humber Hawk on slightly wider wheels. And at the NEC, we've got another Sunbeam Rapier, this one in silver with a red roof. AAH100, it's a fantastic 1935 Humber Snipe Pullman Limousine. A very rare survivor indeed. We're getting towards the end of this collection of Roots Group cars, vans and lorries. Here's a Harrington Sunbeam Alpine, 462 PBJ. And here's a restored Hillman Minx Californian of the mid-1950s. Another two-tone Hillman Minx with period sun visor and extra lamps on the front. An immaculately restored car. And another comma imp van, this one in the livery of the AA, the Automobile Association. Patrol service vehicle, no less. Another Humber Super Snipe Estate. Immaculate mid-1960s example with no tech spot lamps on the front. There's a race prepared Hillman Minx. This was at the Goodwood Revival quite a few years ago now. Another Sunbeam Alpine Harrington Le Mans. Competition prepared car at the NEC. A barn find Hillman Imp on the Imp Club stand. Again at the NEC Classic Car Show a few years back. A wonderful comma fire engine, no less. BCC 450. And another fastback Sunbeam Rapier. This one looking a little tired. This was in a Portuguese scrapyard. And a side view of a rare Harrow Series Singer Vogue Estate. There's a Sunbeam Talbot to drop head coupe, probably a 10 horse car. Only a few more photographs to go now. There's an early Sunbeam Alpine 104 DDV, a large finned version with an MGB alongside. And a rear three quarter view of an immaculately restored Sunbeam Rapier Fastback. A very rare survivor indeed. And the slightly earlier version of the Sunbeam Rapier. KSL 583. And that rounds out this collection of 120 photos of classic Roots Group, i.e. Hillman, Humber, Comma, Carrier, Sunbeam, Talbot and Singer, cars, vans and lorries of the late 1930s through to the beginning of the 1970s. I hope this photo collection was of interest. Please check out some of the other classic car videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.